We're going to get to Mississippi in a minute, man. Salute to everybody, man. Salute to everybody out there in the chat. Um, somebody said there's a mass shooting in Shreveport. Hey there, you. I'm not seeing it. Oh, drive by shooting on Texas Street. Okay. Let's see. People are injured after a shooting this morning in downtown. Police say the shooting happened around 2 a.m. this morning on the intersection of Texas and Market Streets. Police say the victims were waiting at the intersection when a car pulled up and several men stepped out and began to fire rifles. Three men and three women were shot. One of the victims has died. A suspect was taken by police for an unrelated incident. So three, three men, three women shot, one dead, no one in custody for the actual shooting. That's a thousand percent. <laughs> Like one thousand percent, put your house on it. Wow, Shreveport. Um, let's see what else is going on down there. Shreve, good old Shreveport, man. Throughout the month of March, KSLA is honoring local women who have made an impact in our community. Today, we honor Vita Reiner, creator of Vita Latina Magazine. La Infasora Radio, 318 Latino, and a voice to our Hispanic community in the Arkla Tex. Here's Bisky Duncan. She's not expecting credit. She doesn't seek credit, but uh, credit is due. It's all Vita doing all this behind the scenes. Vita Reiner arrived in the U.S. in 2002. She met her husband in the airport, actually. and Well, she married a glider, man. She married a glider, man. She's a sellout, man. Do y'all have that? Do Umbritos have sellouts, man? Somebody in the chat tell me, man. Do Umbritos have sellouts? Oh, shit. They had another shooting last night? What the fuck? Other people were injured during, during a drive-by shooting. Police say the shooting happened around 11 p.m. last night in the 1800 block of Logan Street. A group was hanging out in an open garage when suddenly shots were fired at them from an unknown source. One person was taken to the hospital. SPD says all eight people injured are expected to be okay. <laughs> fisherman, Please man. The shooting happened Help around me out, fisherman, man. You got, you got two mass shootings in Shreveport last night. One with six, one with eight. A total of one person dead, no one in custody. There obviously weren't a lot of children standing around. Definitely not. <laughs> oh my God. Stunner, man. I know you travel, man. You ever been through here, man? No, this one of the parts of the country I've never been to, honestly. Just think about how bad Blackistan is. Shreveport had two mass shootings last night. That's just it's it's bad. <laughs> and, and one person died, bro. One person. Hold on, was this the night? Hold on. I think no, hold on. This was just now. This was tonight. My bad. This was tonight. <laughs> wow. Bro, 14 <laughs> people shot, one died. <laughs> I mean, that just shows you that guns, when I tell people about good, we wasn't meant to have guns, man. We, it's like a, it's, 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 we don't respect it in no way. We don't respect it enough to like be proficient at it. We don't respect it enough to aim where we shoot. We don't respect it enough to know when to shoot. We don't respect it enough to trigger discipline. We just don't care. Shreveport Mayor Tom Arsenault and SPD Chief Wayne Wayne Smith addressed several shootings that happened over the week. The most recent left one man dead and five others injured. It happened this morning on Texas Street in downtown. Mayor Arsenault says he's working on ways to stop the violence. So we felt like it was appropriate for us to address the issue and let citizens know that we are concerned and that we are working on the resolution of these cases as well as long-term prevention opportunities for us to uh, to reduce the violent crime in the city of Shreveport. I plead to our community 
to those that may be out there. Let's stop the violence. Please, I beg of you, lay down your weapons. That's a new um <laughs> that's a new strategy. Becky. I haven't heard that before. <laughs> yeah, Becky. Hey, listen, man. At least that, that lets you know that we're near some kind of like uh, climactic of it. Once once the police chief starts begging. Listen, man. Next is her coming up here talking about blow jobs for um if there's no shooting no, we we free blow jobs. <laughs> All the thugs get blow jobs if you don't y'all kill nobody this week. No, you don't kill. If no one gets killed tonight, blow jobs for all the fucking um, dudes out on bond for violent felonies. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, what the fuck, man? God damn, man. Salute to P.L. Sanders said, greeting, Oct Nation. Wish there was anything else to cover. I tried to cover that story about that Latina, but she was boring as shit, man. She's about to talk about some goddamn racism and shit anyway. So um, salute the radio blip mode, man. Says, yo, I keep doing the great work that you do on a consistent basis. Here's some money in the tip jar for some folders on me. Yeah, man. The best part of waking up, folders in your cup. Well, the thing about the BJ's is uh, there's about a 50% chance it might actually work. <laughs> Why do you say that? That wouldn't work at all. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you don't think so? Why don't fuck. you think so? Because that just would incentivize them. Oh, man, uh, we can just keep go up in the ante and I'm going to fucking have a goddamn orgy by the time we're done with this. That's No, that's a horrible idea. I'm saying it might work for a night. <laughs> No, it wouldn't work at all. As a sun man, though, as a sun man, fisherman, which you are not, I will say this. It, there's something there. It, it's worth a try. <laughs> I know. As, I as, kid anybody that day. <laughs> as, as somebody who comes from a lineage of actually building stuff, I'm telling you, that would not last. Well, would you shoot anybody that night, Stunner? I know, no, I no, <laughs> and and I actually think that a lot of some men would fall off into some shit like that, and a lot less people would get wounded and shit. I think I think fishermen just don't understand, man. Yeah, I don't think he understands some man. I'll tell you, if you had if you had three or fours all over town just servicing some men. <laughs> Think about it. Violence. Yeah, it what it might violence, actually work, but what do it just may work. Do? Violent interrupters, they go in and they mediate with one side. They go talk to the, let's just, just for bullshit, let's just say Crips and Blood. They'll talk to the Crips in the blood that they'll be for it, whatever set, and be like, yo, you need to let that shit go. So they go into the field and do, yeah, would some of these holes get shot? Yes. Some of them will get killed throughout the course of it, but I think it would do, it would definitely put a dent in because look, you don't get the blowjob. You only get the blowjob at like let's say five o'clock that morning or four o'clock, like after the club let out. We got to ride past all the clubs and everybody and all the parking lots by the clubs empty. Then you get then you guys get your blowjob. You can't do it like oh like twelve o'clock because the club's still open. They can get the blowjob and then go hit the club and shoot somebody. So you gotta like do it like four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning. Every sun man will be like, and all they, all you gotta do is um, not shoot nobody. Um, and here's you. I think you could even do this, fisherman. You could tell the toughest sun men in the streets. If there's a shooting that night, you don't get a blowjob. And they would make police the other niggas. It, they would police the Word up. <laughs> Fish don't understand. He doesn't understand. Can we raise the tone a bit? Yeah, you agree with me, though, Um, your, your future president? 
Definitely. That would stop a whole lot of crime. Of course y'all going to fucking say this. Like, why would you not agree to this shit? No, I mean, we have no incentive. We're not getting that. And then, and then no after f- that, then after that, it's just going to up the ante. Oh, we need more. We need more. It's no different than the goddamn programs and everything else y'all get. I'm telling you that that's good enough right there. A blow job yeah, is good enough yeah. for now. It, 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 now, I mean, that's what a lot of this stuff is about. Believe it or not, a lot of these shootings are about stuff like that. A well, lot you can these- you can think about it in a cell forever. <laughs> I think it will work, man. Um, not completely. Now, I'm not saying. I think it will get it to pre 2020 levels. <laughs> Yeah, nothing is gonna be foolproof. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not, again, I mean, we're get, we're we're trying to manage. We're trying yeah. to manage these things. So yeah. I think it might be a good manager, a good a good bridge manager to the next better idea. But it's not a permanent solution. But if you want to get through summer 2023, might won't work. Might want to try it out. Yeah, I'm a sun man, and if all three sun men up here agree. What's that? You don't. You don't. That doesn't mean anything to you, fisherman. No. <laughs> wow. All right. Let, let me move uh, along. Uh, and the whole point of even going out that night is to uh, get laid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the whole point of being a tough guy a lot of times and being you know having a reputation and shit for violence is 